everybody and welcome to another episode of the FIFA 15 Hertha Berlin career mode series. In this one, as always, we're gonna have a look at three games. The first one is gonna be against Hamburger Sportverein and basically we are 11th at the moment as you can see on the bottom right corner and we have 8 games with... Uh, we have 8 points from 8 games and basically Julian Schieber is the top scorer in the Bundesliga. But still, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more games in one episode. I can do 4 games but still at the moment I'm keeping it to 3 because you know the video won't get too long it won't get too short but still I think I can squeeze 4 games in one episode you know keeping it until around the 10 minute mark but still uh, yeah let me know in the comments below if you want to see 4 games in one episode but still we are in the first match right now at the Olympia Stadion against Hamburger Sportverein and basically they are first in the Bundesliga as you can see right now they have 7 wins, 1 draw and no defeats so far but still we have 5 draws which is a bit disappointing, a bit worrying but still hopefully we can I don't know, we, we won't get a win in this one for sure because they are first and we are like 11th but still we have a chance to do something because right now we have the first attack it's Solomon Kalu who has the shot from the tight angle he didn't have any support in the box so he decided to shoot which was not a bad attempt basically but the shot went wide but now Iratek plays it for Holby and that's a disappointing finish by Luis Holby the ex Tottenham man but still they get the attack Van der Waard was, was introduced from the bench in the second half Rudnes flicks it on for Van der Waard who has a shot which was blocked by uh, Sebastian ha Langkamp I believe that was still they continue to attack 75th minute of the match Van der Waard flicks it on for his teammate who has a shot and it's blocked once again by one of our defenders but still look at this we get the perfect counter attack in the 82nd minute of the match can we score can we get the winner Julian Schieber no he's denied by Rene Adler and he's still goalless 89th minute of the match Lusenberger for Hatinga in the box we're all out attack so our defenders are pushing forward but Hatinga had his shot blocked in basically five minutes of stoppage time we get the chance now Flattenhardt lays it for Peter Pekarik and his shot goes over the bar a bit over the bar so close was that attempt by Pekarik but anyway we get another counter attack it's Ben Hatira now Ben Hatira and once again Rene Adler is there to save it and once again the corner is to Schieber and the header is off target we were so pressing them in the last minutes basically the referee blows his whistle to end the game but still we had so many chances in the last 10 minutes we had like 7 shots I believe that it was the stats in the stats but still Sebastian Lankam getting the man of the match he had a decent game alongside with uh, Johnny Hating and Blattenhardt as well but still a very decent game for our defense because we kept the clean sheet against the first in the Bundesliga, the first place team in the Bundesliga. But still, now in the next game, we'll be playing in the domestic cup, the Deutsche Pokal. And basically, basically, um, uh, we'll be playing with a bit of a rotated squad here and there. Julian Schieber starts up top with Ronnie playing behind him, Roy Behrens, Haraguchi, uh, Brooks, and Castelletto, Castelletto return for us in defense with Janke playing on the right and uh, Vandenberg on the left wing but still we are away so it will be a very difficult game against a very solid team now we're gonna see the, their lineup in just a second there it is Rafael uh, Ronnie's brother in, is playing in this one and Eden Hazard's brother is playing in this one as well Togan Hazard and a couple of other decent players but still Kruse flicks it on Rafael now keeps possession well gets it for Han now Han gets it back for Rafael the shot which was saved by Thomas Kraft a very good save by our goalkeeper but now Northwide gets it for Han on the right wing fifth minute sixth minute of the match Northwide has a shot and it goes off target I mean it goes wide and the shot was off target basically but still it's goalless but now 11th minute of the match Haraguchi for Julian Schieber who has a shot immediately and that was a big mistake because I had to beat the keeper in this one I rushed the shot and I was pretty disappointed after that situation after we missed that situation but still 30th minute of the match Kramer has a shot which no problems for Thomas Kraft in this one but still now 45th minute of the match Rafael has a shot from this set piece and it goes over the bar not troubling the goalkeeper at all but still Ronnie with the cross is to watch Schieber 
and he is the side netting so close and once again we continue to push forward it is uh, Hosogai plays it for Haraguchi on the left the cross it's a bl brilliant one for Ronnie and he heads it home to make it 1-0 for Hertha Berlin and basically this is the winner for us which will qualify us in the round of 16 and a very important victory against a very good team you know Borussia Mönchengladbach are not too bad but still um, Brooks gets man of the match in this one with Casaletto having a decent game as well Haraguchi and Ronnie did very well and our left back Vandenberg has made a uh, decent performance but still the next game uh, of the round of 16 is against by a Leverkusen and after that I don't know if there's another draw but still anyway let's focus now into the next game Baum Johan is not happy about his playtime okay but I won't be giving him a start in this one because I, I forgot about that the fact that he was unhappy but still this is the lineup maybe I will include him in some of the other games but still we are playing against Paderborn and Julian Schieber starts up top with Stoker, Behrens and Ben Hattira, the attacking three players behind the sole striker in this one but still I decided to rest Ronnie in this one I decided to bring him on if the game isn't going anyway any well uh, but still let's see what we can do the Paderborn lineup they don't have many big names aren't they um, they have some decent players you know but they are playing with German players mainly and that was not a bad attempt there saved by Thomas Kraft but anyway they continue to attack it is the 21st minute of the match they get the attack from the left the cross and it's saved by Thomas Kraft once again but now we get the attack in this one it is um, Stoker I believe that was the cross is to Julian Schieber and Kruse with the save in this one what a chance for us but now the corner is to Schieber once again and once again Kruse with the save but anyway, another corner, another cross towards Schieber and this time he makes no mistake. The first one was saved, the second one was saved. But anyway, the third one goes in for Julian Schieber. His, four, um, not fourth, but sixth goal, I believe, in the Bundesliga. And he gives us the lead in this one. 1-0 one for Hertha Berlin in the first half. But anyway, Paderborn, um, they are attacking right now. Saglik has a shot which was saved by Thomas Kraft. The rebound. Um, and once again a double save by Thomas Kraft which was very important for us to keep us uh, to keep us in the lead but still another shot and another save by Thomas Kraft and now a decent opportunity for Paderborn from this free kick and it's Johnny Heitinger from the goal line to hit it away and it is still 1-0 for Hertha Berlin we're in the second half by the way but now Ben Hattira plays it for Julian Schieber that's a decent counter attack it's Stoker Stoker does very well to get past the defender the signing tackle stops him but anyway he gets it for Behrens who scores to make it 2-0 for us in this one 75th minute of the match Roy Behrens 2-0 and it's game over the referee blows the whistle and we get a very important three points the second victory for us in the league so far and we're slightly improving our performances but still Julian Schieber gets uh, no Thomas Crum gets fan of the match but still Julian Schieber is 8.7 rated in this one as well jo um, Valentin Stoker had a decent match and our defense our central defenders did very well in this one as well but anyway that was it for this one the next one will be against Hanover. We are still 11 with 12 points from 10 games. But still, let me know in the comments below if you want to see 4 matches per episode. I can do this. But uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see it. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one, of course. Until then, take care. Ha ho he, her the best.